Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. The woman who is the prosecutor in the Lindsay Lohan case is with us exclusively tonight. Danette Myers is no longer on the case because it went to city jurisdiction, which I'm going to tell you what that means in just a second. That happened last week. She's going to take us inside the trial, and I want to give people a reminder here that Danette is running for the L.A. County District Attorney. So let's talk a little, Lindsay, here. Explain what happened that got you off the case. Well, what happened was at the conclusion of the preliminary hearing, the judge, although she found there was sufficient evidence uh, that Lindsay Lohan had committed uh, the grand theft. This is the necklace stealing. Correct. Uh, she found that uh, instead of a felony, it should be a misdemeanor. So there's a specific provision of the California Penal Code. It's uh, 17B5. It gives the court jurisdiction to reduce it on its own motion to a misdemeanor. Once Judge Sautner did that, it then became the jurisdiction of the city attorney because of where the incident occurred. So she's now with the city attorney. Did she's it, now with the city attorney's office. Did it surprise you that it went to a misdemeanor? It definitely surprised me. And it surprised me because she was on probation and she was on formal probation. Uh, additionally, she had violated her probation on a number of in times. And therefore, uh, I thought, you know what? She's in that category of folks that we want to continue to have this as a felony because of her conduct uh, and because of her past. Uh, and so when the judge reduced it, I was quite surprised. Do you, do you, I, I'm sort of rooting for Lindsay. Are, 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 are you? Well, I, I, I'm rooting for everyone who comes into the criminal justice system because I don't want them to come back into the criminal well, justice system. That's my question. It, 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 let's say you had a child who was getting in trouble like Lindsay. Would jail, do you think, help her? I think jail helps when you continually violate your probation. My position is that you have to catch the person's attention first and then rehabilitation second. I'm all for rehabilitation. As a matter of fact, I love rehabilitation because that means my job is easier. Because you don't come back. Right. You don't come across my desk, and it's great. It's great for society. You go back into society, and we all benefit from that. Now, in this case, I, I went off yesterday. I think that's why you're here today, uh, about Lindsay's, the judge in Lindsay's case, and this recent sort of, um, she, from the bench, said, you don't have a substance problem, you have a psychiatric problem. And that really disturbed me as a clinician.